And welcome back for more of Glenn's story. These are the last few closing stages of this, and we're kicking it off with some zombies. So we're going to stick with the All Out Glennifer team of, uh, <laughs> as I've nicknamed it. I have no idea why. Just ignore me, I guess. Um, and we're going to have the three star Glenn with the plus eight crit, and then Molly who gives the plus twenty four crit. We'll see how we go. And we also, well, actually, I also made sure I brought in the right items this time. If you remember last time, I brought in the wrong items and sort of started to hurt me at the end when I needed them. So I learnt from that mistake and brought in the right items. Now, as you can see, the problem with having an all melee team um, and having these obstacles and blockages and blockades, not blockages, same thing though, they tend to block your attacks when they're hiding behind them or hidden behind them and stuff, haven't moved their way out and it's really annoying, I know for No Man's Land you can sort of skip through and get your turnover with, with this one you literally cannot skip, you have to press every player to get through it even though they're all getting blocked, it's sort of annoying, it would be nice if they had like a skip button for the, or the end turn button or something like that for when things like that happen. But at the moment we're doing all right. We've lost a few players, but we're still getting the headshots in with the help of our nitrate oxide. We're getting them in. And we're just going to keep using it because these guys ain't pulling out the headshots I want them to and they're just needing that little bit of help of crit which um, I, I sort of expect uh, they're not got too much help in regards to Glenn with only plus eight um, Molly's a bit better as the ally there but still needing a bit of help in here and by the nitric oxide so we're just going to keep using that and then we got through stage seven so stage seven is done and we'll see what they're going to throw at us for the last stage here Looks like they continue with the zombies, so once again the nitric oxide is going to play an important role in up on me crit for this. Um, I don't think I have a crit ally left. No. Eric has a crit rush. Um, we'll just forget about that and just use the nitric oxide and just stick with the melee. And see how we go. Um, that can be the problem sometimes with um, choosing allies from your faction is that you actually run out of players that have leaders with crit as aspects. But that's okay. We got Josh here is the plus 20 attack and defense for melee, so that's all right. And we're just gonna compensate with a bit of um, nitric oxide to help give them a bit more crit to hopefully get them through this stage without too much of a hassle which seems to be going all right at the moment wave two we've got 11 zombies on that one um 10 on the next we're just going to keep with it up with our nitric oxide and hopefully keep up with the headshots and we can get through this stage fairly no, quickly, hopefully. Um, I hate when they prolong things out. It sort of annoys me. I'm one of them people that like quick hitting and out of there sort of thing. Um, I'm pretty much like that with raids as well. But we just want our four-star Glenn to compete. We want to complete our pack. I'll have to um, maybe use all my lens and see how they go <laughs> all as one for an event somewhere along the line but for now they're doing okay like they've been hit up a few times but that defense probably from Josh has helped him out a bit that was a critical headshot there if he wasn't headshotting that zombie he would dead 
So that's another critical headshot. One more. Come on, one more and then a wave left. That was 13 more because that shot up a bit. Now what do we got? 11 on this last wave. Let's hope they can get through this easy. Come on. Oh, he didn't pull through with that headshot there. Oh god, twice in a row. He probably deserved to die for missing twice. Uh, we'll just give him a bleed of blood and shirts now they're starting to get surrounded and missing their headshots. They actually do really poorly with these headshots here. I've had to bloody shirt them up a few times. They're, all of them are like literally chopping at this one zombie and not getting one headshot in. Um, finally got through that, um, despite the little miss hits at the end. There's our four star Glenn. As you can see, he's got a fast recharge rate, which is makes him a bit more valuable as a player. Uh, so thanks for watching. Bye.